barbershop conversation, guys. What's up? Feel free to hit the subscribe button. Uh, checks and balances. Don't forget to pre-order checks and balances. Um, May 19th, Michael Mech's birthday. Don't forget. Don't play yourself. Make sure you go pick it up. Go pre-order it right now. And um, <laughs> I was just thinking, like I said, I didn't finish that interview. I, I just think Floyd says the, the, the same 200 words in every interview, and it all comes down to him, how much money he has, and how much money he's making. I think it's 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 now getting to the case where um, it's no point even watch his interviews. I, I, I think he's grossly... Um, grossly narcissistic, so narcissistic that um, he stunted his own growth. But the part that I did see was the first five or six minutes where he said that uh, he took the check for a million dollars and and he claims that he owns PBC. But first of all, y'all called... Y'all thought I was lying. Y'all called me a hater. Fred is just a hater. But now this is the lead story in boxing. And I told you guys this was unraveling a year ago. And now y'all can't get enough of this story. So why don't so wherever you're at, you need to stand up and give me a standing ovation. Because I broke this news a year ago. And I was a hater. Anyhow, um he says he owns PBC a year ago, or whenever he says it. And he's in charge on the other end. But he couldn't change either date. If you own PBC, you can change your date. You could move Tank Davis press conference to Friday or move it up to Wednesday. You know what I mean? So so at the end of the day, I think that <laughs> it's just a whole bunch of hogwash. Al Heyman is, does all the scheduling for PBC. Al Heyman has not paid Floyd Mayweather all his money. And it's going to implode. It's really, really going to implode um, when Tank Davis starts moving without Floyd and moving without him. I told you, summer 2022 is going to be at. Oh, man, I told y'all. It's going to be a hell of a summer. And uh, here we have it. It's going to be a lead story going all the way through the summer. And um, and that's basically the truth, man. But I just wanted to come on here and let you guys. We will be talking about this tonight in the barbershop. And we'll talk about Nipsey Hustle too, because we wanted to talk about that from last night's show. And we have Cooking with the Chef tonight. And uh, Floyd Mayweather is just uh, an ignorant million dollar slave. That's simply what he is. And uh, he's narcissistic. He's selfish. He has an ego without merit. You understand what I'm saying? And uh, I don't respect that. I don't respect it. And it was, and I'm going to repeat again it was my choice to say these things. I never, I don't validate myself with a relationship with another human being. And uh, I validate my relationships. I relate, I value myself with what I can bring to myself and an asset to other people. So, so at the end of the day, it's a bunch of hogwash, man. And uh, um, it's all unraveling. It's all unraveling. And I told you so. And um, just, just remember who told y'all first. Just keep that in mind, all right? Keep that in mind. Barbershop conversations. See y'all tonight in the shop. We're going to have some fun with this one. Holla.